What if I told you that Huawei phones can now run Google Apps in the easiest way possible, all from the Huawei App Gallery? Which means you don't have to hesitate to buy a Huawei Mate 50 Pro without thinking twice. Let me show you how in this video. So to show you this feature, I'm going to be using the latest Huawei smartphone. The Mate smartphones were first launched two years ago, and this is the latest flagship, the Mate 50 Pro. Now, we haven't done a review on the phone, but let me just run you through quickly what this phone has to offer. Let's start with the most interesting feature, the camera. It comes with a really cool technology where the aperture is not some digital thing that you control within the app. It is actually a physical blade that will close or open depending on the aperture that you set in the camera app. That also means that the blur on your photos will look pretty good compared to phones that use digital aperture controls. Now that combined with the XD Fusion Pro image engine and Huawei's own sensor called the Xmage can give you better brightness controls and more details in darker parts of the image. But what actually blew my mind was the display. Now, I'm not talking about how good the display is. FYI, it's a really good display. I'm actually talking about how strong it is. How strong you are? Well, I think you should just watch this video. Now, all of that is thanks to what Huawei is calling the Kulun glass, made from 10 quadrillion nanocrystals, giving it that resistant to drops. And it is the first smartphone to receive 5-star drop rating certification from Switzerland's SGS certification. Also, Orange Vegan Leather is the only variant that comes with IP68 water resistant. And it's this phone right here. Powering the phone is a 4,700 mAh battery, which has a feature called Super Energy Boosting. When the phone drops to 1% battery, it enters into this mode and it keeps the phone alive for 2 hours or for 12 minutes of audio calls. Aside from that, this is also the first Huawei phone that runs on EMUI 13 and has features like Super Storage to remove duplicate files and compress rarely used apps to save space for other users. But the best feature in my opinion is the Super Hub, which acts like a drawer or a clipboard to temporarily store images, documents, and even text, and to share all of them at once in your emails or even your messages. Okay, so let's get to the juicy bits. How do you get Google services on Huawei devices with the least hassle possible? First, you wanna head over to Huawei's app gallery and search for Lighthouse. Once you are in the app, go to the settings button and add an account and sign in to your Google account. Now, once you are done, go to the app gallery and search for any Google apps and install them. And that's it. That's all you need to do to have Google apps running on a Huawei smartphone. Literally, it is so, so, so much more easier than using G Space. Okay, so now that you have Google apps installed in your phone, let's run through how all these apps perform. Now, I have Google Maps, YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Photos, and as you can see, it all works totally fine. It is literally that easy and can be done without any hassle that your 85-year-old grandma could do it too. However, do note that this only works on selected Huawei devices, and I'm going to put that list up on the screen right now. So pause this video and check out if your device is also on this list. Also, do note that this will only work for the Malaysian region for now. Now, I know that some of you are concerned about the security of the Huawei app gallery, but Huawei has mentioned that the apps posted in the gallery have gone through some really rigorous checks. And these checks come in four steps. They collect the real name of the developers or the companies who created the app, and then they do an authentication on that. Then the app goes through a four-step security check for malicious behavior detection, privacy leakage inspection, security vulnerability scanning, and finally, another manual name checking. Then the app goes through an installation security where it checks for any threats, signature verification, and more before it lets the app get installed into your phone. Finally, Huawei adds on a defense mechanism to make sure that the app can't make any changes to your devices 
and it does this final check continuously so there is no chance that the developer will be able to sneak in a track or change the coding halfway and anything else that might affect your device or personal information. So there you have it. That's how you can get Google Apps running on the latest Huawei flagship phones. So if you are interested in checking out the new Huawei Mate 50 Pro, I've left some links in the description below. You might find an offer to buy this phone as well. And don't forget to sub to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.